Um, Deadpool's coming out like next weekend. So I figured why not do a Deadpool cake pop? So I will have two options for you guys on how to make different Deadpool symbols or cake pops. Um, they have one that's like a symbol and then I have one that's uh, more like his face. And um, so I'm gonna show you guys how to do that. So I guess I should tell you the ingredients now because I didn't tell you before and I already made them. Okay, so you're going to need your basic cake pop dough, a way to measure out your cake pops so that they're all equal or the same. Um, so if you use a, a scooper or whatever, that's fine, I use a scale. You're gonna need a number 12 piping tip. Uh, you're gonna need black fondant. You're gonna need cake pop sticks. You're gonna need a melting pot with some red um, colored uh, wafers. And then you're gonna need a circle cutter. You're going to need some cornstarch, a roller, a palette knife. You guys don't have to have all these things. Like I'm sure there's different things around your house that you guys can use, but to me, this makes it easier. Then you're gonna need white gum paste because you're gonna have to make the eyes. And then um, I think that's it. So continue to watch and I will give you guys a tutorial on how to make Deadpool cake pops. So first you're gonna measure out or you know make your cake pop dough. If you haven't already watched my cake pop dough on how to basically get the perfect cake pop dough, you need to go watch that. And I'll try to figure out if I can link it below to that video. Otherwise, if you subscribe to my channel and you can look at my videos and whatever. So anyway, you're gonna need the, um, the way I do it. I use my scale, and the little scaling container, and I work in grams. So you measure out 40 grams of cake pop dough and you're gonna roll it into a ball. This is for the first version of it. So it's gonna get nice and smooth. That's how you want your dough to be. You want it to be nice and smooth. Um, now I already, I'm gonna use this to show you the other one as well, but you would just take that cake pop and you'd put it on a stick. So you would dip it in some of the chocolate and then put the stick into the cake pop ball. But I already have one here that I'm gonna show you on how to dip later. So for this one, this is going to to be the one that is shaped more like Mommy, the face itself. Okay, I'll get you food in a second, bud. So you want to take the ball and you're basically, let me see if I can get up close and get this any better for you guys. I need the light up some. Is that better? Okay, so you're going to take the ball and just kind of shape it on the bottom. You're going to um, kind of roll it down so that it's kind of angled, but the top is still like a, a round, rounded shape, and then the bottom is kind of flat. Does that make sense? Sort of like an egg with a flat end. So I don't know if you guys can see that really well, but that's what you want to do with the second one. A dog! Depending depending on how you want or which one you want to do or if you want to do both, that's how you're gonna shape both. You know, the one is gonna be a round ball and then the other one is gonna be kind of like a egg shape with a flat bottom because that's gonna be basically the jawline of Deadpool. So I'm gonna dip a little bit of my stick in the chocolate like I just did and then push this down into that cake pop. And if there's any imperfections, I'm not going to worry about it too much other than making sure the cake pop is kind of straight on the stick. So I'm working with the cookies and cream cake pop dough. That's why it looks great. Um, and it is pretty cold because I had it in the freezer, so I don't have to go and like set it back in my fridge and take them back out. But traditionally what you would do is make your cake pop balls, put the sticks on them, set them in the fridge, and then come back out and dip them because that helps them set up but I kind of skip a step by making sure that it's cold already. And this chocolate, just so you guys know, is not performing all that well because of how much color I had to put into it. So you can see it's not running, it's like gloppy. Um, sometimes it happens if you put a whole bunch of color in your chocolate. You want to use oil-based colors in your chocolate so that it doesn't seize the chocolate. That's what liquid 
gel colors will seize um, the melting wafers and the chocolates. So you want to make sure that the color you use is oil-based. I had a little bit of blue in here and then I added my red. Um, depending on how you look at Deadpool, he, he does have more of like a blood... Okay. He does have more of a blood red style suit, but for me, I, I wasn't going to use that much color because then my chocolate just wouldn't be exactly right. So, we have the cake pops coated. I'm going to show you how to dip them. Um, you guys have seen me dip cake pops before, but I'll just do it again to show you guys. So, you just kind of twirl it, make sure you get it all over. Like I said, this is not the best chocolate right now, so it's going to be kind of gloppy and not fun to work with at all. And it's harder when it's like this because your cake pop ball tends to end up falling off of the stick. So then you're going to have this like little line on it and you're going to try to shake it to smooth it out. And then you're going to set that in your styrofoam. So I kind of show you what I have already got here like that. So you'll set it in there. I'm gonna show you guys how you're gonna do your like the Deadpool um, faces so you're gonna have a little bit of fondant you could do this with royal icing I just chose not to so I'm gonna powder my uh, top here a little bit it's okay if you get some powder on your black um, it will come off on your black fondant as long as you don't I keep calling it powder it's cornstarch um, as long as you don't drench it, it'll come off. And that's how you get the black, black look that you want. So, roll that out like that. Okay, so I'm using this circle cutter because it is close to the same like size as the cake pop. So I'm just going to cut this out and I'm going to let that set up a little bit because I'm using fondant right now and not um, gum paste for the black and if you touch it too much it's going to get all kind of like wrinkled up and messed up and I don't want to do that. So I'm going to scoot this over, over to here a little bit. Just going to make those triangles for the face emblem. Oop. A little bit of cornstarch on the table here, work table. Okay, so you're basically cutting diamonds for the face. If you guys have a diamond cutter, you can use that. I know his face, they're not exactly diamonds, but to make it easier to make a cake pop, that's what I'm doing. So you have your lines this way, and then you're just going to come in at an angle, essentially, and cut yourself a diamond shape. And that's how you do it. I mean, it's very, pretty simple. Let's see if those, you can see those diamond, little diamonds. So now I'm going to take my face shaped cake pop and attach these. I'm sorry that this is upside down to you, but we're just going to put a little bit of that melting chocolate on there. And I'm going to attach by dropping it on. And then I'll come in and set it properly in a minute. Now when you do this, you want to make sure your little points to your diamonds are coming together instead of being kind of opposite. So I think that's good enough for me. Shape up. If you mess up, it's okay. Find it is sometimes forgiving and it'll stretch out and curve for you. So if you don't want that complete diamond shape because Deadpool's not exactly a diamond shape, you can smooth and curve like this edge to make it a little bit more of the exact Deadpool shape, but like I said, for me, I'm fine that way. Um, 
way you want to be able to make the face is you're going to then cut that circle you made in half. Now, depending again on how much detail you want to put into these cake pops, um, you can shape it. Like if you look online, it, the end kind of comes back. So if you bent it back some on these, the ends of these um, circles, that's going to be more looking like the the symbol that you'll find online for Deadpool. So if you guys can see, I'm just kind of tapping these back a little bit with my palette knife. And then I'm going to gently pick them up off the table by sliding it underneath. Now I will show you guys how to go ahead and attach these. So I just have my cake pop uh, like this. Um, so I'm going to put one here and one on the other side. And I'm just going to use um, the end of a little paintbrush or gum paste tool to go ahead and add just like a little bit of um, melted chocolate so that it actually sticks to the cake ball. I'm going to pick this up, see if I can show you guys or do this while I'm looking in the viewfinder. So is that the right way? Yeah, okay, cool. Then um, you can also like move your fondant around to get, oh, I'm not in the finder, to get the um, shape that you want for the, you know, while it's on the cake pop itself. So now I'm just gonna pop this other one on here. You can use your palette knife to pop them on there. Um, you know, to me it doesn't, I'm just using my fingers right now because I can and it's simple and fast. Now this one is shaped a little odd on there. So I'm gonna use my palette knife to kind of reshape what's here because it doesn't exactly look like that emblem. And I didn't put these on exactly um, to each other or um, equal to each other, if I could talk. Curving those out again. Whoop, pulled it a little too much. I moved them around. You have a bit of working time with um, adhering it with the chocolate, but not a ton. So you kind of want to move a little bit fast. Um, if you have chocolate showing here, you can just slide your palette knife and pull it off. If you look online, you're going to see the symbols and, and stuff for Deadpool. So you can decide how you want to do it yourself but I just found this to be pretty easy. So right here I do have gum paste this time. It's white gum paste. We're just going to roll that out. And this you can do as thick or thin as you want. It really doesn't matter how thick or thin you roll it. It's up to you on what you like. So I'm gonna, hopefully you can see this compared to the back, or compared to my table. Maybe I should put my, is that better? Ooh, this way. Okay. So then I have a number 12 Wilton tip right here that has this circle. Um, if you want a bigger circle, you can use the end of this or you can look at a different circle cutter. But for the eyes, I find that this um, number 12 piping tip works fine. Oh, it scared me. Something fell. Okay. So I'm just going to pop on here and push out, cut out a circle. Sometimes they will get stuck in the end of your um, piping tip, and that's fine. You don't want to blow on them to pop them out. If you get a little cake pop stick, it works fine, and then you can just pull it off. I'm going to need two of these because I'm showing you how to do two different um, Deadpools as of right now, but depending on how many Deadpool pops you want to have made or that you're making is going to depend on how many sets of eyes you need. You need two sets, or two per Cake pop. Okay, so now we have these here, and if you don't cut it out completely, um, like really hard, it's going to give you this little feathered edge, and you really want to have that tight because you're making the Deadpool, and he doesn't have like a little edge, frayed edge on his eyes. You know, it's pretty tight and stiff and kind of mean looking. Okay, so where am I in this now? Oh man, it's so hard to be able to see. Alright, I'll try to bring one of my foam mats down to see if you guys can see this a little bit better. 
and the angle of that camera isn't the best, but we have the dot, the little eye on here. Um, I cut them in half, and this is what I used on the circle, and then I'll show you what I used on like the face. So there's the symbol, and then there's the face. So for this cake pop, again, to kind of glue it, you get a little bit of your melted chocolate onto the end of something, and then figure out by looking at it, I know this is opposite to you guys, but where you want your eyes to sit um, at on your cake pop itself. So for me, I'm gonna have them up a little bit. So I'm gonna make a little dollop of chocolate. Hopefully you guys can kind of see that. And with these, you can use your fingers because they are gum paste, but it might be easier just to get your little palette knife. Um, and then, ah, I dropped it. When you put them on, you'll pop them on there, and then, see how it's not perfect? Then you'll, you'll use your fingers or any tool to kind of get the angle of eye that you want. So you want it kind of tilted because, you know, he's supposed to look somewhat angry. And that's how the symbol looks when you look online. And again, because you're using the color of Cake Pop, that like reddish tone, it might come out around the edges and you can just clean that up if you want. So, that, if I can get my camera right, is the Deadpool emblem of a Cake Pop with the eyes on and everything. Again, like I said, it's not perfect, but I'm gonna grab the eyes that I made from before. And then I'm gonna get a tiny bit, where's my, there we go, of the melting chocolate, and dab it right onto there. And you don't have to use a ton of that melting chocolate in order to get it to stick. Sorry again that I'm doing this upside down, but. Maybe I can do this one where I can drop it on there without the palette knife and let you guys see it a little bit better. Okay, oh, I did it crazy. Okay. And just kind of push down to attach it. So then you have your Deadpool face for your cake pop. And that's it. Now, you can add extra details to them if you want to. Um, you can paint uh, the, like, he has some like stitching above his eyes, so like you could go in with um, a paintbrush and some paint color and go from up here and paint black stitch marks. But for me, this is good enough. Um, people that know Deadpool will know that that's what it is. Just to let you guys know, it is super exciting to me to have new subscribers. I mean, I know I don't have that many subscribers. <laughs> But to me, it's super cool and I get excited every time I see that I've gotten more. So thank you to those that have subscribed and are new to my channel. Um, I, this is what I'm just going to continue to do is make tutorials in my daily life and just different random things. Um, but it seems like you guys like the, the tutorials the most. So I'll probably be doing more of those than anything else on the channel. Um, I plan on vlog... Blah, la, la, la vlogging a little bit. Um, sorry that my daughter wasn't here today to help videotape, but she's in school and I have a tasting tonight, so I just am kind of busy. Um, and then I take my conceal and carry class tomorrow, so um, I won't have time tomorrow to film it when she is here. Um, let's see, I normally don't touch my hair this much, but I'm done making um, anything. Then um, give the video a thumbs up, that makes me super happy too. And I'm on Snapchat and Facebook and YouTube and Twitter and Instagram under My Girls Cake Shop. If you guys have any questions, um, let me know. I try to answer as many questions as I can, either on my comments of videos or um, through my Facebook page. A lot of people get a hold of me on there. And I'm super excited to have you guys. And I appreciate the people that have been subscribing for years. And my son is laughing in the background big surprise. Um, I think that's it. So I'll see you guys next time.